Uh, I believe number six in. Had a good day today. Got you know, got a lot of good meeting time in to watch last Thursday's practice because uh, we did give them Friday, Saturday, Sunday off um, athletically. Um, but got you know great meetings in, learning in the classroom. Got a great lift in this morning, and um, really just kind of threw an extra. It was kind of an extra day of the week, so we had one more short day, uh, which is our last short day of the, of the spring. Got it knocked out today, so it was, you know bring back after the holidays and. Just get them warmed up so we can have a real good one tomorrow. We're not coming back being rusty. So, um, you know, happy with where we are today. How is the mental side of spring practice made different than in season or training camp in terms of what they do in the film room? Um, well, you know, when they're in there with the coaches, it's the same as far as what you're doing, how you're looking at it. I mean, you're coming in the fall, you, you, know, you, you practice, and then you're coming in to watch the tape to see what you're doing that day. It's the same thing. We're coming in. The only thing you're not doing this year is watch, or, you know, this time of year is watching the opponent tape. So we actually have more meeting time to focus on the fundamentals. Um, I thought you were going to ask the mental part of, you know, just the you know, spring ball. You know, I've seen, I think our kids got a great attitude. They're not going through the spring saying, oh, this is spring ball. We don't have to play anybody. Um, you know, and I've been around places where kids, you know, you see that they're just not cranked up like it is fall. And I think, you know, when we get into doubles, I think the attitude will be cranked up a little bit. I don't think you can ever get them to where you want them to be like it's the season. Um, but, you know, Overall, pretty happy with again the attitude they take out, like there is a game this weekend. And that's what you have to go in with that approach. Intensity is what you would like you like it to see most times. What's that? The intensity. Yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we start off Skelly and kind of got after the defense a little bit. The offense, you know, completed four straight balls, and uh, you know, and again, it's just about competing. You know, and all of a sudden, you know, I yell over there like, "Hey, you guys aren't competing today. We'll just you know, kick your butt all day today." And all of a sudden, then they crank it up. But you know, um, so to me, that's intensity and. And wanting to compete, but uh, sometimes you just gotta, you know, flip the switch. What's what kind of balance do you like to see between the two sides? You know, going against each other, but most of the offense play four straight balls. You want know, the defense to pick it up, but it's, you know, defense yeah, it's, beats the offense for an extended period. Is there? You know, yeah, there's there's no balance for a head coach. The head coach is always mad, you know, because <laughs> either way you lose. If the offense is kicking the defense, but you're going, what's going on over there? And all of a sudden, the defense, you know gets into a period and beats the offense, you're going, oh, my God, what's the offense doing? What's going on here? Um, but, you know, there's got to be a battle back and forth. And what you like to see is, you know, an offense win one period and a defense win the next period or offense have a couple good plays, the defense have a couple good plays and know that they're battling back and competing. And, you know, competing is important. Do you have an ultimate goal for spring, something you really would like to see? I mean, what, what yeah. are you trying to get out of this But yeah. at the end of the day? You know, we've got goals. We've talked about them earlier, but, you know, won't probably share them, I guess. I'm nothing specific, but, uh, you know, what, what do you – I mean, the biggest thing is everybody's got – you know, I mean, just a, an obvious goal is, you know, to get better. You know, we try to get 3% better every day, but, you know, I think knowledge is important. And last year we were busy teaching what we're doing defensively, and uh, we got, a, a, you know, a chance to kick in a little bit and get even better and learn what offense is doing. And I've been impressed with what our offense has done as far as just the knowledge of putting in a new offense and, and, and doing some different stuff, even though there's a lot of similarities from last year's offense to this. But there's some different tweaks and a little bit different terminology, so uh, try to keep things the same. Have you been at places before where when you get into August and September, you can you can tell like okay, the, you know, we had a good spring and that's mattering now in the in the fall. You know what? Sometimes it's hard. You know, you got a whole summer that went by, so you don't know what happened there. But you know, it's, it's hard to tell sometimes what happened in the spring, what's happened in the fall. But you know, I think you know intensity-wise, it always cranks up a lot more when you get into fall. Period. I just don't know what happened in, you know, in between during the summer. Is that something with like an individual player, though, you can see, like, hey, this guy really had a good spring and it's, it's made a difference now? Yeah, you can see it individually, I think. You know, you just don't see it as a whole. But, you know, you see individual differences, you know, day by day, really. And, um, you know, I think if you focus in on one guy, you can see that. But it's hard to see the whole team. Thing. Now, uh, sick practice and uh, Jalen and the Dogu at the, the star spot, how have they done sort of adapting? Um, they've done a good job. I mean, you know, again, um, Sean's been there since probably midway through the year. Uh, Jalen, you know, this is all brand new for him. So, um, you know, we'll see. It's just still a work in progress after six. And, and Elijah's doing good, too. You know, the amazing thing is I don't think Elijah's too far behind, if not, you know, right there with him. So it's going to be a battle through the spring. And that'll be an, an interesting draft analysis on, uh, on draft day for the spring game. That'll be a spot to look at. You're doing the same uh, version this year? Oh, yeah. In the spring? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What does Jester need to do to clean up some of the consistency issues he's had in the last few years? You know what? Uh, you know, just have some confidence. I mean, he caught, you know, he was one of those four balls early that, you know, he caught first first ball of Skelly. Uh, he catches a nice ball. And, uh, 
and it was impressive on a, on a good player. So um, he's had a good spring. He's just got to be consistent, and he's got to believe in himself, you know. Um, I think he, I think you have to have faith and belief in what you're doing and what you can do. And he's, you know, that's part of you know the maturation process. I think. So I think he's getting. It. How's I'm your offense? I'm sorry. How's your offensive line uh, developing with the new good. faces in there? You know, they're doing a good job. I think Bookshire's done it. You know, probably the best job of all, just because he's got a whole brand new spot in there. And he's uh, you know, really done a nice job jumping in there. You know, uh, and taking that over. Who knows? He may be the guy. Um, but uh, I think he likes it in there. And, uh, you know, we'll kind of see. Hard to see much of a difference after today, but he was solid in uh, last Thursday's practice, and, you know, today's in short, so just got to keep coming along. Uh, I, I, any word on Chris Clark? Yeah, he's got, you know, something he had to do, you know. Just ask, you ask the head coach, hey, coach, I got to do this. We, you know, so uh, he'll be back here tomorrow. Do you have any uh, thoughts on the basketball hire? Any thoughts on it? Yeah. You know, I think, I think Scott Barnes, I mean, I, you know, Twitter and you know everybody's got an opinion, I guess. Um, you know, but uh, you know, I think Kevin's a heck of a uh, basketball coach. He's you know he's done a lot. You know, I don't think anybody ever looks at the body of work of where he was and you know, how hard it is, maybe where they were. But he's a heck of a basketball coach. I'm excited to work with him and, and get to know him. Uh, I haven't met him yet. I'm looking forward to I guess two o'clock this afternoon. I'll get a chance to say hello. But uh, he's an unbelievable coach, and I, I think uh, you know people got to give him a, a shot to come in here and show what he's got. But it's it's a freshness. And, and like I said, when I got you know, hired here, we all got to be going in the same direction. That includes you guys. We got to all be going in the same direction to win championships. And, and we can't do it by ourselves. He can't do it by himself. He's going to need football. Football's going to need basketball. And, and uh, I'm excited. I think he'll, he'll bring a, a freshness and something different to it. And again, I think Jamie Dixon's a heck of a coach as well. We'll, we'll miss him. And, and uh, I was excited, you know, really the year that I got a chance to. People don't realize how good he is either. When you look at what Syracuse is in the Final Four, and how many times we beat them in North Carolina. <laughs> Uh, shoot Notre Dame is in the lead eight, so um, it's a heck of a conference, and I think you know he's looking at it. Hey, I'm coming to a better conference right now, and uh, so we'll, I'm excited. All right, okay, I got you. Okay.